All right, so I know, just calm down, calm, calm down. I know you're looking at the title and you're looking at the thumbnail and you immediately go down to the comment section to start telling me how much I suck or how much of a bungee simp I am or how much bungee sucks or how much I am a bungee hater or whatever. Um, just let's talk very quickly, okay? Uh, probably not very quickly, but we'll try. Um, recently, there's been some controversies about perk waiting and Destiny and num a number of people from Bungie have come out and said, we actually just don't even have this capability. Um, among those being a dev who is unfortunately actually laid off uh, recently. Uh, so they have absolutely no reason to lie about this, you know, um, saying they don't have the capability to do it. And then DMG is the other one who, as far as I'm concerned, has only ever had, you know, the best interest of the community in mind. Um, also, like, why would anyone need to lie about this? If there was perk waiting, they could just say, there's perk waiting, deal with it, losers. You know what I mean? Like, there's plenty of games do it. Uh, games that require you to spend, like, real money do it. I, I there's This isn't something games are afraid to do or companies are afraid to do. So they have no reason to lie about this. But what I will say is I'm going to be going through some data that has been collected by the Destiny community in various apps today um, that I believe is convincing enough to suggest that there might be something bugged in the system and Bungie maybe should go take a second look, in my opinion. I'm not 100% convinced of any of this. Um, I'm not sitting you here telling you this is exactly what is happening. I'm just saying it's interesting. There are some interesting trends and they seem consistent enough with new weapons where I think it warrants some deeper investigation by Bungie. And that's what I wanna do. I do wanna just remind everyone that we are raising money for victims of Hurricane Helene. Um, we're doing so, uh, you know, if you donate some money, you can get the exclusive through the storm emblem. And I just added 15 Magneto, so Magneto Sonic Waves emblems. These were the TwitchCon exclusive ones. Uh, so if you wanna get your hands on those and help those who need it the most, you can do so in the comment section down below. Let's talk about this. So the reason this has been a huge thing is because everyone's been farming chill inhibitor because it is crazy. It's very good. Specifically, people really want the envious arsenal bait and switch roll, but like no one's getting it. And this was the, uh, the big catalyst for this. And Bungie came out and was like, no, you guys are being ridiculous. There is no perk waiting. Um, and like I said, I do believe that there is no intentional perk waiting. But uh, a developer, uh, you may have heard of them, Niwo, on uh, on Twitter, I'll have them linked down below as well, developed this website where you can sign up and this will actively track your farming sessions and it will record your drops of the area denial grenade launcher and your chill inhibitor. Um, you, there's no manual input, it will do this automatically. You just have to say like, hey, I am farming this and then it will automatically uh, take that data. What is very interesting here is you can see pretty clearly uh, you know, how many, however many weapons this is, 500, 600, 700, somewhere in there, that there are trends starting to appear with the combinations. And specifically, there are combinations of weapons that are just not dropping. And one of the rare ones uh, being this Envious Arsenal bait and switch. One person has gotten it out of what, 750, 800 drops? Should be a one in 36 drop. And this isn't even counting, you know, the, the barrel perk, the magazine perk, the mass work. This is just those two perks. Seems a little off. And so uh, this has kind of gotten a couple people thinking and Vendetta, um, I will also have them linked down below. Very, very uh, cool friend of mine. Uh, started to pioneer this theory that if you look at the popularity of weapon perks in the API, there are on some weapons, interesting trends based off of, and this is going to sound ridiculous, how far the weapon perks are from each other. So I'm on chill inhibitor here. And if you look here, if you have two perks that are in the same row of different columns, they tend to be more popular to be found together than if you go further away. So let's say like I'm in the, the fourth here, attrition orbs, or I'm in the third attrition orbs, 
as I move further away, you know, chain reaction, B minus, that's a, a, we're looking uh, specifically at popularity trait combo. That's just gonna be those two perks. Popularity on light GG appears to be the amount of people that have this role on average in their inventory. This is not drops. This is just people that have it and these perks selected. Um, and they kind of like, it shows it like, you know, 10% of rolls are cascade point bait and switch. And you know, it has all of these, but it gives them a letter score based off of their overall statistics. This is not foolproof because you are more likely to delete a bad roll than a good roll. So inherently this will be more inflated towards desirable or good rolls. That being said, if you look at the data, let's say we move away from chain reaction, look, drops to a D, D plot, uh, you know, around D, F. And then as you go up, kind of the same thing happens. Um, and this is not a perfect trend, as you can see, but it's a general trend. And this got a lot of people thinking, and I went ahead and I wanted to go ahead and map this over the drop data that Niwo has been collecting. So uh, this is the drop data. I, and I assigned color coordinated lines. Uh, the green line means those perks are on the same row. So if you look here, uh, demolitionist and one for all, if I go back to the chill inhibitor on light GG, you can see those are those are zero. They are zero perks apart. Hi friends, uh, I was editing this and I realized I forgot something very important. So if we look at these perks here, um, I forgot to mention that like demolitionist is not five away from chill club. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. These things are like circles. So the top is actually the bottom and the bottom's the top if you get what I'm saying. So uh, Demolitionist is uh, zero from away from uh, one for all. And then Chill Clip is one away. Band Switch is two. Surrounded is three. They're like carousels or uh, like locks or whatever, whatever you want to say. They're like gears. You know what I mean? Uh, start and, and end are the same. So cool. That's important to know. Uh, but Demolitionist and Explosive Light would be one perk apart. And so that's going to be the yellow line. So zero is green. Perks apart in terms of, you know, verticality in the in the columns uh, or, or rows. Um, one away is yellow, two away is orange, three away is red, uh, and then it goes back down. Two away is orange, one away is yellow. And so if the theory is that the closer the perks are in the API, the more likely they are to drop together, that should be reflected um, in the drops. and. As you can see, it kind of is. So if we if we look at just at this, you can see uh, the ones in the middle tend to have a higher drop rate. They tend to be more popular versus these that are three perks away. The red line are the ones that have one or zero. And like I said, this sounds absolutely psychotic, but it gets crazier. Okay, um, the same exact, the same exact uh, trend can be seen with Velocity Baton. And so you might just be asking yourself, first off, Scarrow, have you taken your meds today? But the second thing you might be thinking is, wait, does this extend to other weapons as well? And so I have, what, what I have done is, first off, I wanted to see how reliable the light GG, like popularity thing is. And so what I did is for every perk combination, if you select them, did I just close this? Give me a second. So as you select the perks, you see, if you look at the trait combo here, it'll it'll change. And so what I did is I looked at every combination of every perk and I graphed that over the actual drop rates, over the actual lines. Um, S and A tier being green, uh, B and C tier popularity being yellow, D tier popularity being orange, F tier being red, just to, those are kind of arbitrary. Um, but just to try to align them with the, the color lines. And once again, the color lines uh, represent how close the perks are. Green is zero, yellow is one, orange is two, red is three uh, perks apart. And so when you overlay them, yeah, I mean, there's a general trend. The perks that are further apart uh, tend to be the, the red orange and the perks that are closer together tend to be that green and yellow. Now, I want to believe there's just some sort of weird thing, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? I have no idea. I'm a chemist. I don't, I don't do statistics. I don't know what this is. We pay people for that. Um, but this is a trend. 
And, and so it's like, okay, what else does this extend to? Oh, let's check the seasonal weapons. And sure enough, the we the perks that are further away from each other are less popular on my GG, which once again, the better rolls are going to be artificially inflated because you're more likely to keep those and less likely to delete them. But I mean, in terms of general trends, it doesn't, you know, it's, it's pretty spot on. Liturgy, same thing. And I would, and, and please, if I'm making a very stupid mistake and I'm missing something so incredibly obvious, please tell me down below in the comment section. I would love to learn. This is not my field of expertise. This is something I might've had a class on like 10 years ago. I would love to learn and improve myself. But for right now, these are pretty convincing trends as far as I'm concerned. Uh, same thing with sovereignty. You know, I'm, I'm going over different, and sorry for the, the quality of these. I, I got kind of lazy with it, but pretty consistently, the perks that are further away are the lowest rated community score. And even though this is a small data set, the weapons that as people are getting farm data are being collected the least um, from the new dungeon. So I, I was like, okay, these are the, you know, the season weapons, these dungeon weapons, um, how far back does this go? So I wanted to go back to, to previous dungeons. Uh, so I went back and I just picked a couple uh, from other dungeons. So I picked, for instance, No Survivors. And I just realized I didn't pick one from Warlord's Rune and I probably should have, and someone's gonna call that out as like data selection. I didn't mean to do that. But if I look at No Survivors from Ghost of the Deep, uh, kind, kind of the same trends. Um, I would say like if you if you look at a mismatch between the colors of the letters in the lines, it's less convincing the further back you go. Uh, and that could just be uh, because people have had more time to farm their weapons, or maybe this is a, if this is truly a bug, this is something that only started appearing in the game more recently. But you can see, especially like here, uh, there just seems to be like less popular perks. No one wants Pugilist, um, no one wants Elemental Capacitor, no one wants Collective Action, and like that makes sense. And then like, oh, obviously people want target lock, people want incandescent. So I think like in the older weapons, the vertical and horizontal trends are a lot more convincing than the diagonal ones personally. Um, and that, that, that like, you know, this is from Spire the Watcher, Liminal Vigil. Uh, you, I mean, there's essentially like no trend here. You have F's, uh, F community scores, which means that's like the fewest that people have in, in what should be the most popular roles and that drop, the most common roles to drop. You have super common roles. And this is gonna like no one cares about. So I, I have a hard time, but like, has anyone ever used Liminal Vigil? I, I know. So like why no one's farming for this gun. No one's trying to keep specific roles. This should be like as close to just random as possible. And it's it kind of seems like it is. Um, and then Unforgiven, which was like, some people farm for it, some people didn't. Uh, Duality is a pretty old dungeon at this point. Um, still, I mean, sort of committing uh, towards the middle, less so, I would say. Um, definitely not as convincing as this season's weapons, which people have not had time to farm for. Um, and a lot of them aren't necessarily that interesting. So people probably aren't going to be farming for them. And um, I just want to note that like these sorts of trends, if you look at per uh, guns with like two perks, sort of falls apart. Um, because it only counts like what perks people have equipped and you're more likely to have you know, the role you want and stuff. But for random roll weapons that drop with a single perk in the third and fourth column, there appears to be a very, very, uh, and you know, you know, more recent weapons seems to be a very convincing trend. And so I just wanted to throw that out there. I could be just being very, very dumb and I'm just missing something. Uh, I could just be missing something super obvious. And obviously these are letter grades. These are not, you know, these aren't numbers. I don't know how like GG collects their data. Um, I would love actual numbers to put into this. I don't have access to that uh, other than the um, Niwo data, which supports kind of the same trend. So I don't know. I, I, at this point, there's either a problem with API data collection uh, or the most ridiculous prob like probability statistics uh, thing is happening or I'm missing a very like obvious thing that I'm not seeing uh, or there's just a bug. And that's kind of all I've got. So let me know your thoughts down below. I, I it's, 
it's I don't know subscribe and all that and uh I guess I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>